AP Calculus AB related rates problem. This is the car and truck problem. So we have a truck and a car. And what we know is this. We're told that we have a truck that's, that's no, directly north of a car. And the truck is at 60 miles. It's 60 miles away. And the car is here. And the car is moving to the east. <clears throat> And we know some stuff. What we're asked to find out is how far away is the how far away in the car in the truck at a specific time. So here's how the problem reads: that at 7 a.m., a truck is 60 miles due north of a car. The car is tra the truck is traveling south, so the truck is traveling this way at a constant rate of speed of 40, while the car is traveling east at 60 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the car and the truck changing at 7.30? So what I do here is I just started making a list of some stuff that I knew. So here's my picture. And here's some stuff that I know. So what we're supposed to do first is draw, and then we're supposed to come up with some rates here. So let me see what we have here. First, we know the position of the truck. I'm sorry, we know the position of the car. And the position of the car is 60 miles per hour, right? times time and we know that the truck is 60 miles away and is traveling south so negative 40 T isn't it <clears throat> we're also given some other rates we know that the rate of speed that the car is traveling is 60 miles per hour we know that the rate of speed that the truck is traveling is equal to 40 miles per hour uh, and we also know that that the amount of time that's spent is 7.30 a.m. minus 7 o'clock a.m. So we know that T is equal to 0.5. All right? So I'm just going to start like this, I think. I'm going to start by saying that let's call this, you know what, this is pretty straightforward. Let's call this Y of T, obviously, X of T, and the distance that we're interested in is Z of T. And this is the distance between the car and the truck, isn't it? So this is what we're interested in. So I'm going to make a little sign of that. And I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula and say that the distance is z is x squared plus y squared, isn't it? And then if you don't mind, I think I'm going to differentiate with respect to time. <clears throat> and as we differentiate with respect to time, we'll get 2z dz dt. Now look, d, z, z of t is here. This is the thing we're interested in. So I'm just going to make a little mark to myself. That's the thing we're interested in. It's equal to 2x dx dt, isn't it? We're using the chain rule here. Plus 2y dy dt. Now this gets us really close to what we're looking for. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, if you don't mind, just as a matter of algebra, I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of this stuff. I'm going to divide everything by 2, and that gets rid of this, this, and this. Now, if you didn't get rid of it, it doesn't hurt anything. For me, it just simplifies the problem a little bit. And again, I'm asking you to keep in mind, what we're looking for is this distance, at what rate, and this is that rate. So just want to remind you, this is what we're looking at. So I think I'm going to divide everything by Z. <clears throat> if you divide everything by Z you get, right, 1 over z. And this is just me dividing everything out, okay? So here's where I get stuck, and we're really close to the end of our problem here. There's just a little bit of work that needs to be done. So we need to know, like, if this is what we're looking for, then all these must have numeric values. So we need to find values for all of this stuff. Some of it's really, really easy. Like we know that dy dt is 40, isn't it? All right, so that's 40 miles per hour because we, we have that up here, don't we? And we know that dx dt is 60, isn't that right? Is 60, so, whoops, sorry, that's not x, but dx dt is 60, isn't it? So is 60. Now we need to find out what is x of 0.5, what is y of 0.5, and what it, see we need these values and what is z of 0.5 and the first two are really easy to take this is uh, x of 0.5 is 30 isn't it so is 30 here y of 0.5 
y of 0.5 is 60 minus 20 is 40, isn't it? I'm just, it's 40. Now, the harder part is to figure out this one up here, and you have to figure out where you're going to get z from. But z is right here. So z, z is equal to the square root of, well, we said x is 30, so 30 squared plus 40 squared. And I don't know if you can see this is a Pythagorean triplet. This is actually 50, and that's just arithmetic there. So we get 50, don't we? And then if we just do all this math out at the bottom, it should get really easy. I don't know if easy is the word or not. Oh, and this is negative 40 here. All right. So then what we finally get is dz dt is actually equal to, it's going to be, is it 200 over 50 when we do all the simplification? So 200 over 50 as we simplify is 4, and this is an AP exam, so 4 miles per hour. So that's our solution. Hope it's helpful. Subscribe.